Have you ever noticed any time somebody writes something about weddings online, 6,000 people will all say the same thing. I spent $27 on my wedding. Then the next person was like, 27? That's outrageous. I spent $16. We did it in a barn. So what? There were cows running around. $16? That's crazy. We did it for six and we had 600 people. Yes, of course, I had to get my cousin to do her photography and none of the photos turned out, but $6. I have a different take on planning for weddings. So I just got married and I have been saving for my wedding since I was 24, before I met my wife, before I was engaged, before any of this. I knew one, that I was probably gonna get married eventually. Two, I knew that it was gonna be a lot more than $30,000 because I'm Indian. So I started saving money every single month in a sub savings account. I literally called it wedding savings. And after a while, I forgot about it. Things just growing over time. When I decided to propose to my girlfriend at the time, I logged into my bank account and I knew I had also been saving for an engagement ring. Then as we were starting to plan for our wedding, I logged into my wedding savings account and said, okay, great. This is how much I know we have to spend. Everybody says, just keep it small and simple. And if that's what you choose, I love that. A lot of people have small, beautiful weddings, amazing. But when it comes time to get married, let's be honest, it's your one special day. And so naturally, it's not just the wedding industry that's trying to get you to spend more money. It's you. You want the nice flowers or the nice chair or the nice chicken. Why not? It's your one day. My advice to you is acknowledge it. Plan for it. Build that sub savings account right now. Don't delude yourself into thinking that you are only going to spend $16 on a wedding. Most people spend a lot more. They're just not the ones leaving comments on the internet.